Today I just thought I'd kind of chat briefly about how I prepped for Direct North because I took a slightly different approach to training for other hard projects that I had. So the main difference was Direct North wasn't exactly something I could just go try. It's like a 15 hour drive from Colorado. So I really had to make sure that I was fully prepared when I showed up to Bishop. So I had done direction as my first V13 back in 2019. I kind of knew what direct north would require. You do two intro moves and then get a really wide stance and do like this cool drop knee into a decent right hand pinch which you have to isolate on and slam into a really good edge. From there you set up for the Thunderbird move which is the crux of the whole boulder. You perch and hit this disgustingly sharp, probably seven millimeter edge. Post your feet up and do a pretty long dead point to not the greatest crib. From there, you swing your left heel out to a jug and have to isolate really hard on the left hand and do a hard like, drop in. And you get to the rest, which is basically just a flat edge. And then rather than going left into like V zero top out, for direct north, you take right into a pretty hard V8. In November, I tried it a little bit, played around on it, um, kind of got a feel for each move again. And then as soon as I got back to Colorado, it was game on for training. I made a simulator of the top V8 crux, which I think was probably quite a bit harder, but it felt quite similar. It basically involves going out to the crimp dish and throwing a heel really high, doing a big lock off pausing on this really bad thing and then bumping into a, like a slotted jug. Okay. I'm gonna get that lock off here on like V2. It was on the TV2 spray layout. If you want to try it, I think it's called DN. The boulder's pretty long, so I definitely had to train some power endurance, which I kind of hate. So I was doing Ben Blackmore's 3x6 power endurance workout uh, on the TV2. It's a pretty perfect amount of moves because TV2 boulders tend to be like 3-5 to five moves and you do it 3 times. It's like 15 hard moves. neglected my core in the past. Like you can never have too strong of a core, so a lot of front levers and ab roller I thought helped a lot. I also really focused in on um, like static crimping. For the most part it's just bearing down on crimps. So a lot of my oh. sessions were were in that style. I kind of eased off the the big pinches and slopers so that I could really hone in on the style of Dragon Lord. Yes, come on, dude. Come on, Evan. Come on. More. Don't hit the ladder. I did a lot of moonboarding as well. I guess that wasn't really good style. I did a lot of crimping, but when I was moonboarding, I got that like snappy crimp motion down, which helped a lot, I think, when I showed up to Bishop. So, I knew with the projecting process, the main crux would be skin management. I only have five days in Bishop, so... You know, keeping my skin good, especially with that right hand uh, Thunderbird print. It's so nasty that you only really want to grab it and guard on it like four or five times a day. So that was kind of the main focus, was making every go count. And I think 
every go from the bottom, I got to the bottom of the court. On day one, I got really close. Come on. Wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I did it a couple times, didn't feel so strong on the jump. Put my earbuds in, put on some left side gun, and just started climbing. And from there, I just I knew what I had to do on the V8. I was cautious, uh, and I felt fresh. I attribute that a lot to my kind of training. stood up on the slab and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get footage of this but it's basically just V0, V1 slab but you don't really have any handholds so you kind of just put your feet in these dishes um, classic like buttermilk spray and slab climbing and you just do one no hand stand up and another no hand stand up and you put your foot in this big Waco and have to do like a final press over, which is really scary. And then you're on just like easy walk slab. You're pretty well into the no fall zone at this point. And it's like, it's pretty tacky up there. But then you stand up on top of the boulder. Usually with clips, I, I focus on doing a lot of really classic boulders. But this was the first time that I climbed something I felt was pretty limit on a trip. Yeah. Yeah. 